Hi everyone. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're diving into the Shell Shock event. I'll walk you through my strategies to conquer this challenge. But before we get into it, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and ring the notification bell to stay updated on all our latest content. Let's jump right in. First off, if you're a PC gamer like me, I have to give you a heads up. Unfortunately, this event might be too difficult or even impossible to play on PC. That's because you need to run and activate skills simultaneously, which isn't currently possible in the PC version. At the start, you get to choose between Michelangelo and Donatello. Raphael and Leonardo become available in the second stage, which kicks off on April 8th. Now, there are some similarities to the Behemoth Trail event, but there's a disadvantage for free-to-play players as training strategies are harder to obtain without spending money. Here's the strategy that worked for me. Others may have different opinions, but let me break down what worked for me. In terms of training strategies, it's better to focus on damage, attack intervals, movement speed, healing, and max health. Avoid loot pickup EXP gain and attack range. I'll explain why I chose Donatello later in the video. Always aim to get the laser turret for the weapon side and for supplies. Go for restore healing every 5 seconds, movement speed, and damage taken reduction. As for the remaining two options, it depends on what the game offers you. You can go with convert's damage dealt by the signature, EXP gain, weapon damage, or attack interval. Now onto the skills. Shock Jab is good for hitting the boss when it appears. The important skill, Electro Spin, is my choice because of the electro bubble it creates around Donatello. This helps you get close to the boss and hit them with Shock Jab. The boss has two different skills, one that moves and the other that throws weapons. Both are deadly, and to avoid getting hit, you need to run in different directions. This is where movement speed comes in handy. After dodging, the healing skill will replenish your turtle's health, and you're ready to take on the boss again. When the first boss appears, you need to defeat it before the second boss arrives. Otherwise, it'll be tough to defeat the second boss before the final round. Trust me, it's no easy feat to take them all down at once. And from here, you can watch my gameplay at level 10 difficulty. <laughs> 